I'm Bob Schmidt with Home Remodel Workshop. Before you buy all of your paint supplies from the, your local hardware store or your superstore, there are a few things you may want to consider that could make your life just a little bit easier. I'll show you what they are. Let's get to work. Although this is your typical paint can, you can see the problem. When you dump paint out of this can into a container, uh, the drips that overflow have a tendency to run down the side of the can, making it difficult to read the type and instructions, although you can actually see the color it is. Uh, they, may, they, they have new designs out now for containers for easy pour. Uh, this one here in particular I like because it has an extended spout that after you take the uh, top off of it, the spout doesn't allow that paint to drip down onto the side of the can. Also, there's a little reservoir in here that whatever does drip past here will run back around and go back into the can, hence not having that mess all over the side of your can. Paint pan. Nobody likes to clean them. They're all pretty much the same design. They've looked the same for years. Uh, but when you're not working with a latex paint, uh, yeah, you can buy a liner, a disposable liner that goes in here so that it, it makes it less difficult to clean. Uh, or another option is, is you could take a small trash bag and put it over top of your pan and basically use that as your paint pan liner getting dual use, dual use out of this garbage bag. Uh, another, another bag that seems to get thrown away a lot is your, uh, your bags that you get from the grocery store or from you know, Home Depot. Uh, again, you can wrap this into the pan and that for, for non-latex paint, you can put it in here and it'll keep the, keep the cleanup to a minimum. And these bags, which are generally just one use and then thrown away, you can use them more than one time. That way it'll be a little better for our environment. Another neat feature about this pan here in particular is when using latex paint, uh, they have paint pans out now that not unlike your, your skillet in your kitchen, have a Teflon coating on them. So basically there's no need for a liner. There's no need for you know, any type of plastic or anything on that. Basically what you do is you use the pan and then you let the paint dry in the pan and it'll simply peel off the non-stick surface. Then that way the only debris that gets thrown away is the excess paint and not a liner or a plastic bag. Another quick tip. When you're using a canister of paint before you close it up to put it away, take a little dab of the paint color that you, that's in the paint can and put it on the top of the can. Then when you're going back down there later sorting through those 400 cans to look for that shade of paint that you put on your walls, it'll be a lot easier visual to see to find it later. So there you go. At least with this Teflon coating, uh, you're back to good as new again. You're ready to paint the next time. Nothing will get in your new paint and keep your wall looking good. I'm Bob Schmidt with Home Remodel Workshop. Hope these tips helped out. Uh, if you're interested in this video, please subscribe. If not, please go back and check out our home channel. We have many other topics and videos there. Thanks.